Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our edit and update for the multi images, right? Now in this video, I want to discuss about the delete. So when you press as a delete, I want to do I want to load one of the suite alert. So if you want to load that suite alert, if you, if you search it the Google, you will get all the references. But right now I have already saved it. I don't want to make that complicated. If you go to your exercise file, into this exercise file, you can see that is our suite alert.txt code. I want to do first of all I want to load our CDN that is a suite alert CDN but I show you if you go to that Google that is actually ready-made because every time actually we have to use it for the reasons I want to save it in here you can see that is a suite alert dot github link so from here you will actually get that CDN if you go to that installation into the installation you can see that is our CDN link so right now also you can use it by the npm install I want to make it as a simple okay I want to make it as a simple so in our exercise file that is our suite alert i have already uploaded so now first of all i want to do I load two of these things i copy it that is one of the code okay i copy it and now if you go to our master there is an admin master after this i want to paste it okay so then that will be our suite alert so that is our suite alert part suite alert is loaded and also in our asset backend asset folder into the js and i want to create another new file as a code js simply go to our public like if you go to that our public folder into the public folder that is a backend folder into this asset folder and that is our js file okay here i want to do and to create on the new file i name it as a save as and name it as a code js okay and that is a code js this type of the file i simply created here i want to do and to load our suite alert all that flash code i simply code loaded that function i copy it and then i want to do and to paste it okay so what exactly that means i show you like here that is on click on the delete id okay that is on the id now we have to do we have to add this id if you add it in our um, all page and that is actually our delete right right now we don't need this cd i remove it and then master will be needed like in our add the all multi image that is our delete portion and into the delete portion i want to do and pass one of the id okay here i simply pass one of the id id name it i name it as a delete so when you pass id as a delete automatically now that will be get our id so when you click it our id will be executed and then that will be loaded our head if it will be load our swap file as a, are you sure to delete delete this file warning our icon will be as a warning i show you if you click as a save all now if you go to our page now refresh it click it as a delete now you can see our suite alert is now successfully loaded now that is our awning type that have some of the message they have some of the button everything you will actually get it in here you can see that is our icon as a warning icon if you make it as a success icon automatically that will be updated that color if you want to change you can change it yes i delete it everything is ready made in here okay and when you pressing as a okay then that will be as a swap it will be fire another part as a deleted your file has been deleted and then that will be as a success type okay so now friend that is the simple code i have already shared that things in your exercise file simply copy it then that will be executed perfect now we have to do we have to work in our um, like here actually i upload this uh, file that is a code js i have already created that code js perfect perfect right now we don't need this and now if you go to our delete so i have already passed one of the id id is very important without that id it will be not get your sweet alert okay so into this area i want to create another route simple all that process and also we have to delete it with a specific one of the id right so for the reasons here i pass it that will be as a delete that will be the delete multi image and then here i have already passed that our id a specific one of the id i want to delete so now we have to create that route go to our web route that will be another get method better i want to copy that edit that will be just like that same i name it as a e delete multi image i copy it so that will be as a delete multi image our url will be as a delete multi image and also here i pass one of the id and then i name one of the method or method name i name it as a delete the delete multi image so now i want to create our method name as a delete multi image in our about controller now go to our about controller here after this after this i name it as a public a public and then function and then our method name that is a delete 
multi image and for the tlac multi image also we have to pass our id because here i have already passed on the requested id so now we have to get it that is on the parameter in this parameter area i want to get our requested id and here one things when i want i want to do when you delete one of the images all the data is already inserted in our database you can see it's already inserted into this area so when you delete it i want to do that will be also deleted from here okay so if you want to do this work first of all we have to do we have to access our image right we have to get specific get that our specific id image in our database like if you want to do this work first of all i want to do i simply take that is very much common part if you understand it literally everything will be very clear so i make it as one the another variable as a multi okay multi and then i want to access our field name so if you want to access field name or multi image with this multi image i want to access by the id as a find or fail right with this find or fail i want to get that our specific id so that is our id right with this i get that our specific id means our requested id specific like as a um, one of the image like that is one of the image right i take that image and i take it with our variable as a multi and now i want to do i want to access it okay here i want to access it like if you want to access i take another variable as an image image and then our multi with this multi i want to do i want to access our field data because by this we get that our total id and now to access our specific multi images image id okay so now if you want to access it our field name as a multi okay multi image that is actually our field name here i simply access our now x specific this multi image field name and then i want to do i want to unlink it okay there is another by default method as a unlink i want to do i want to use it as a unlink that is a map method there is a function actually that is unlink okay unlink i want to unlink our which things i want to unlink our specific uh, email multi image that is a multi image field that is the data i want to unlink okay so here i have already taken it by this variable now i want to do I want to pass it so now that will be as a unlink great and then i want to uh, also remove okay i want to remove our total things i want to remove that specific id details every data i want to delete it so if you want to delete it that is your multi image and now same procedure with this multi image i want to get that as a find or fail find or fail our id our requested id i have already taken it that is our requested id and then i want to call another method as a delete okay then that is a delete method so when you declare the delete method our total row will be deleted okay friend from here i upload that our previous existing image image will be unlinked and it will be deleted our total row perfect so our row will be deleted and from here our images will be deleted so that is our images will be deleted that will be row deleted great and after that i want to show some of the notification message better i copy it i copy it and then after that after that i paste it so it will be return redirect not the route i want to return redirect to the back page because that will be the our main page so i want to do and to return redirect to the back page with the notification our notification will be multi images deleted deleted successfully okay so that that's all that's all you have to do okay friend now let's check this out if you click as a save all now i want to go to our page now refresh it mm, there is one is missing so here mm, you can see i actually copy it with this so right now it should be not needed so that is how we started you can see that is we started and that is our ended perfect now if you click the save all now i want to refresh it as i told you when you get any error it means they have some of the issue okay so now i want to do and to delete this one and also i want to check it that is successfully deleted or not now i simply click as a delete if you click as a yes delete it delete it is successfully display yes you can see it's now deleted successful as a multi image delete it successfully if you go to our database that should be deleted one yes you can see it's now deleted one and if you go there yes it's also successfully deleted okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so right now if you want to add that multiple image that is all another option right now there is another option you can add that multiple image like if you go to our about multi image from here i want to choose right now another image okay like for this theme actually they are using some of the different image but i want for education purpose i want to use it i want to use it like as a like as a this one i want to choose some of the my image 
I want to choose another one, this one. I want to choose another, this one. Okay, I want to choose some of the image. I want to choose this one. Now select as open. Now click as add image. There is a four file which should be inserted. Yeah, you can see it's now successfully inserted the four file. All the images inserted successful. So if you now delete it, you can delete it. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right now there is a seven data. So that is the all that our now dynamic. Right. If you want to change it, you can change it as per your demand. Now I want to display all that our data in our fonting into the fonting here. I want to display it. So how can do this work in our next video? I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.